Rick and Morty is such a wild show that even the title of this video wouldn't surprise anybody. Today I'm going to cover Rick and Morty are the same person and other wild fan theories we hope are true. Welcome back to Laffy Tunes, let's get into the video. Number 10, Rick and Morty are the same person. As if the show didn't have enough depressing undertones, the idea that Rick is actually an older version of Morty will leave fans reaching for that glass of whiskey. Some fans believe that Rick is really Morty and he has traveled back in time just so he can watch over and take care of his younger self. Another theory takes it one step further, with the idea that Morty is stuck in a time loop and when Rick dies, Morty will grow into him and look after the new Morty. Well, just like watching Rick and Morty, it requires you to suspend your disbelief for a few moments and trust that it will all make sense in the end. Kind of. So here we go. Number 9. Super Trees are the source of Rick's genius. In the very first episode of the show, Rick forces Morty to shove huge spiky seeds up his butt, acting as a mule as they go through customs, which is one of the worst things Rick ever did to Morty. These seeds fell from super trees and this is never properly addressed again. One theory suggests that the juice from the seeds is what Rick drinks from his flask the whole time, not alcohol, which is what people presume. This is Ku Allah, the spirit tree. For generations it has guided the... Number 8, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Rick and Morty is a bizarre show and one of the weirdest episodes is Total Rick All which features the character Mr. Poopy Butthole, but as weird as it seems, the moment Beth shot the new character is still one of the times the show broke our hearts. The character was killed when he was believed to be a parasite, only it was revealed that he never was a parasite because he had bad memories, which parasites aren't able to have. Fans have come up with a theory that maybe Mr. Poopy Butthole actually was a parasite and he was just intelligent enough to learn. Number 7, it's all about ice cream. Everyone loves ice cream, but in Rick and Morty, there are a few too many instances where people are eating the cold treat for it to just be a coincidence. Jerry tips $450 at the Cold Stone Creamery, Rick and Summer beat a child to a pulp after he ruined another kid's ice cream, and there are way too many other references to mention. Huh? Rick? Ooh, Morty. It's a nice day out there. There's five of them. Number 6, Rick and Jerry are in a simulation. Being thrown into a simulation was one of the times we felt bad for Jerry, but there's a theory that both Rick and Jerry are still in the simulation. After aliens trap Rick in a simulation in an attempt to get the recipe for his dark matter, which is still one of Rick's best inventions, many fans believe that the two of them are still trapped in there, and the world that they escape to is still a simulation. Well, simulations doesn't simulate anybody that's been abducted, so... Uh... Oh, I see. Oh, oh, it was no one's fault. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, well then, problem solved. Oh. Number 5, Rick's Depression. When Rick sacrificed himself for Morty, it was one of the times he was a good grandpa, but it was also one of the many times Rick shows how much of a nihilist he is, which is a clear sign of depression. Anybody who watches the show can tell that the character is clinically depressed, but some fans speculate that the reason for his depression is because Rick knows full well that he's in the TV show. The character knows he can't possibly escape, which explains why he breaks the fourth wall so often. Number 4, the show will end after season 8. In the extremely meta season 4 episode Never Ricking Morty, in which parodying the underrated Chris Evans movie Snowpiercer, the pair worked their way through a train with each car having its own problems. Fans were quick to point out that the train was 8 cars in total, and when they enter the 4th car, Rick exclaims, we're here, which has led people to take that literally, meaning that they were in the 4th season. Number 3, Scary Terry is a Morty. In the early days of the show, Rick and Morty weren't as fast paced and subversive as it is today. As sometimes it had fun parodying moves like Inception, Back to the Future, and Nightmare on Elm Street. In Lawnmower Dog, the duo encounter Scary Terry, a monster who is similar in the form to Freddy Krueger. One theory suggests that Terry is a version of Morty. As a teen, Terry struggled in school, specifically in mathematics, just like Morty. Number 2, Evil Morty's Origin. Though on the face of it, the intro has always seemed that the creators were having fun and creating tiny meaningless vignettes, Evil Morty's origin could be hidden in plain sight according to some fans. In the intro, Rick abandons Morty in a world that is riddled with giant frog monsters, leaving Morty to protect himself. This potentially made Morty bitter and eventually led him to turn evil and seek revenge. Number 1. Some episodes aren't canon. With never ricking Morty seemingly being a bottomless class of conspiracy theories, the episode has led many fans to believe that some episodes purposefully aren't canon. The episode is thought to have separated the episodes of the show into two different camps. With episodes that followed C-137 Rick and Morty being serialized, whereas standalone episodes must be Rick and Morty's from different timelines. 
This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.